God's call occurs in three different stages. First, God in the, through Christ, commands all men who believe in the good news of safety. His invitation comes to fruition from his word and spirit. He is to be called, strengthened, and sent a messenger of joy about what Christ did, and he called you. He is calling for you to be called, strengthened, and sent a messenger of joy about what Christ did, and he called the sinners to repent and have faith. Secondly, for some, God is with the people, gang it of ability to respond with faith. In this understanding, the call becomes a chain that begins with the love of God and from eternity and ends with we are to be with Christ in the new heaven and new ground. Third, finally, Christians are a call to live in the Holy Spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. This means that the morning to be patient in tribulation, working for in peace, serving for each other with freedom and love and working to spread the good news. We are going to read with different Bible verses related to our topic. In Romans 8 28, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. In 29, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. In 30, moreover whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. In Galatians 1 15, 16, But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb, and called me by his grace, in verse 16, to reveal his son in me, that I might preach him among the heathen, immediately conferred not with flesh and blood. Galatians 5.13, for brethren, ye have been called unto liberty, only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. In 14, for all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Ephesians 1 to 1, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful, in Christ Jesus. Verse 2, Grace be to you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings, in heavenly places in Christ. Verse 4, According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame, before him in love. Colossians 3.15, And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which, also, ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. 1 Thessalonians 2 colon 121-12. As ye know how we exhorted, and comforted, and charged every one of you, as a father doth his children, that ye would walk worthy of God, who hath called you unto his kingdom and glory. Hebrews 9, 14, 15. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? In verse 15, and for this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. 1 Peter 2-9 But ye are a chosen generation, royal priesthood, and holy nation, peculiar people, that ye should shew forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. 2 Peter 1, 10-11 Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make 
your calling and election sure, for if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Verse 11. For so, an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly, into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord, and Savior Jesus Christ. Matthew 28-18 And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Verse 19 Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Verse 20 Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and, lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. In our conclusion, we are called not by our good works because we want to become great or good, but by His grace, mercy, and His will that we should obey, His purpose and for the glory of His name, as it was with Jonah, but that God still met him with mercy to all people. If you want to receive Jesus Christ, my friend, in your heart. Say this in prayer. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, I know that I am a sinner and destined to be punished in hell. I'm sorry for my all sins. Teach me to obey your words according to your grace, purpose, plan. I accept you as my own Savior and Lord. Through faith, I thank you so much. Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Thanks for listening and watching. To God be all the glory and honor Him. Amen.